Sunny here, Mr. Arizona, and today happens to be October 20th, Sunday, in, uh, in the year of our Lord, 2019. You know, it's not where you start, kids, it's where you finish. So, from Brooklyn to Mesa, Arizona, it's time to be thankful for all the blessings that God has given us. I'm going to give you a little fist tour here. This is Sonny's place, right here. The old Beatles too. Love is all you need. We're supposed to be overcomers. Trust in the Lord. I love that one. Okay. Right here. This is my uh, tanning station here. When I, when I want to work on my Jersey Shore tan. <laughs> Oop, there goes the neighborhood. Uh, this is the Hoopa. This I've named the tree of life. Growing strong. Goes down deep. It's going on strong. This is great. I'm trying to talk quiet here because sometimes I, I talk too loud and, and you can't hear the music. But anyway, here's, here's uh, something I want to say to you. Uh, years ago I planted seven trees, fruit trees. Only one didn't make it. I don't, I think it was a I forgot what kind of tree it was. But anyway, I renamed it the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. As you can see, it's bone dry, it's dead. El Dedo. It, this one ain't coming back. <laughs> but here's the message. Right next to it, a miracle took place. A tree started growing. I had no idea what it was. But now you can see it's almost, oh man, it's reached up to the sky. <laughs> is that a sign or what? This is a, you probably can't see it. It's called a thorn, T-H-O-R-N tree. They're all around here in uh, Mesa, Arizona. And the thorns were the ones they made a crown and put on our Savior's uh, head. And these, these stickers are about two inches long and they'll stick you. They're like little pricks. So the point being is if your antennas are up, God is going to talk to you in nature, uh, through TV, through whatever. He will absolutely talk to you. But you got to put your antennas up and the only you can do that is, is uh, by staying in your prayer closet and hearing his voice. There's a lot of voices out there today. And uh, it's going to take a personal relationship with our Father. And, uh, you know, a lot of stuff that's coming down the pike here. Uh, my good friend, brother in the Lord, Truth Seeker. You got to get into his, his new book. Uh, Angels, Demons, and Devils. The whole kit and caboodle. And uh, a lot of it is going to sound like New Age, but it is not. It is Next Age. This is what's coming. Uh, and the Lord told me, no matter what people think of you, you, you be who you're supposed to be. So, I'm going to make a confession here. Uh, maybe you better be sitting down, but I'm coming out of the closet. <laughs> I'm a tree hugger. <laughs> I hugged a tree. This, I hugged the cross of Jesus Christ. And that, that makes me a tree hugger. So you want to call me a new ager? Hey, that's fine. Just don't call me late for dinner. All right. Love you guys. Uh, the Our Fathers is a really now prayer. With God, all things are possible. So, you know me, motor mouth, truck of 32 years. I can't, sometimes I can't, I can't keep still. But that's okay. Because I got something to say, and I'm going to say it no matter who likes it or not. You got to be yourself. Check out, check out that new book by Truth Seeker. 
T R U T H C. I'm going to see. S E E K A H. He's on my website. He's on my website. We just did a video. But, uh, Check out his book, man. It's it's going to change your life. Uh, you know, it's going to look new age and there's a lot of words in there. But the new age is stole. You know, the first disciples were doing all this stuff. So that was stuff that happened 2,000 years ago. John G. Lake, he, he was doing day trips into heaven. The Golden Girls in California, the Golden Lamp Stamp or Candle Candle Girls. Whatever, I, I don't know. But anyway, they were out in California back in the 30s. They had an open heaven. So this, this is not really anything new. It's just been buried. And now it's coming to light because now God is getting ready to move. I pray for Salvation Park. The Lord gave me a vision, uh, a knowing that I was going to lead an end time revival in Salvation Park. The world calls it Red Mountain Park right here on uh, in Mesa, Arizona. So... You know, in the spirit, I, I go there, I release the angels. Uh, I got that from uh, one of my mentors, uh, Henry Grover. He used to prayer walking. He walked in 50, 53 countries. Uh, I think he just passed away at about 80 years old. But he was out there when uh, Arthur Bassett was out there carrying the cross. So uh, I'm pushing 71. So I, I, sometimes I talk over people's heads. I don't mean to, but... I was born in a different age, in a different time zone. So you got to take it for what it's worth. If you don't believe me, Google it. I love you guys. All right, bye-bye, honey. I love you and I miss you so much. Bye-bye. Fruit of the Spirit. Surround yourself with words of encouragement. I know my Lord lives. Children of God, be blessed. I love you all. Catch you on a on a flip-flop, doing street ministry. Maybe I'll see you in the park, Salvation Park. You know, if not, I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye. God bless.